at this is your first time. Oh, Pixel, you didn't see that. extend the first one invitation to drag out your brushes and paints and paint. It was, oh! Oh, no. Um, this is a bad advertisement of this game. Uh, <laughs> welcome in, Raiders. Oh, my game crashed. Oops. <clears throat> Hello. Okay. Yeah, last time, uh, as in last night, we completed the Thieves Guild quest line. So now that we have the beautiful Nightingale armor, which, by the way, we look incredible. Look at that armor. We look so cool. Barbus. Very neat, very cool. Um, and now we need to figure out which of these quests is the Thieves Guild one. Or sorry, the... Um, Dark Brotherhood quest. I'm assuming we need to go into that place. He night on my Gale till I. Hmm. Um, yeah. I'm like, please no. We got a busy day tomorrow. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, I want to go meet that guy. Remember that quest that we got where that guy was like, meet me at the blank? I forgot about that one. Come on in. The Silver Blood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean. Oh, Shrine of Talos guy, yeah. Hello, who are you? This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Okay. Hey. Oh. Need something? Oh. Linea. Hello. Yes. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. But make me an offer, and I just might fight at your side. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> like what? Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brotherhood has come, Yuri. The Dark Brotherhood. Oh, oh, I. My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked. Obviously. Now tell me what you need. What I need? What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. Uh, I'll need more to go on that. If I said this, honey, details get to the point. Remain silent. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin, Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. Oh god, it'll be done. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. Okay. But well, there is one more thing, if you're interested. I'm listening. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. Okay, let's learn why she wants this guy dead. I went to Windhelm to see the Shattershields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning, Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Oh. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Oh. Elaine used me. Oh. He ruined my name, oh. destroyed my friendship with the Shattershields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? 
He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind. Oh my god. He used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of monster. Oh. Elaine Dufont took my life. And now I'm taking his. Oh my. And then why must this person die? Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova. A sister to Nelsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No. They treated me like garbage, threw me away. With Nelsine dead, maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. Goodness. I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine too. But lost my nerve. I even wow. brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it. Just coat your weapon with Are it. you running a lighter yeah. heavy armor build? You get the Having idea. Having fun playing alongside you smile. Stormy, hi. I'm running a light armor guild, uh, build. I don't know why I thought guild. Uh, build. Right now, I have the nightingale armor on too. Wow. Okay, so they all pay for what they've done to me. Both sound pretty bad. All right. Happy Isn't Monday, April. You should be tending to. I, I would like to leave. Oh my god. Excuse me. Isn't there some business you should be tending to? I oh, wow. Is there something I can do for you? Maybe. What does she got to say? Hmm. Hmm. Hum hum hum. Hmm. Hmm. Barbus. Barbus, please. Barbus, I gotta go. Barbus, no, like, I gotta go. Barbus, please move. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Never leave the house? You want that ending? You're closing the stall, and that's final. I kind of want to see... Now? Before we go uh, and kill this guy, um, I want to see where this is. I want to. I want to shrine at Talos. This. Mama, why are you, you don't know anything about this house. Oh, sad. <laughs> Why are Anyone you and Papa fighting? Oh, too real. It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Um, so I'm gonna do this quest because I'm curious. When we got into the city, um, we bumped into a guy who dropped a note and said it was ours. Which let me see if I can find it. What was it called? Does anybody know what it is called? Might just be called just search notes. Was it mysterious note? Eltree's note. Okay. Yeah. So he like bumps into us and then he's like, Oh, you dropped this. And and we're like, no. And he's like, No, you definitely dropped this. And then we opened it and it just reads, meet me at the Shrine of Talos. And it's just this guy. Yeah, maybe a little meet cute moment. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, maybe he's going to try to kill us. Who knows? Well, there he is. I'm sorry to drag you into Mark Hart's problems. But after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. What the heck? I'm sorry to drag you into Mark Hart's problems, but after that attack in the market, I'm running out of time. You're an outsider. You're dangerous looking. You'll do. <clears throat> uh, I'll do? What are you talking about? I'm not doing anything yet. <laughs> you want answers? Well, so do I. So does everyone in the city. 
A man goes crazy in the market. Everyone knows he's a Forsworn agent. Guards do nothing. Nothing but clean up the mess. You want me to find out why? This has been going on for years, and all I've been able to find is murder and blood. I need help. Please, you find out why that woman was attacked, who's behind Wayland and the Forsworn, and I'll pay you for any information you bring me. Um... Hmm. Yeah, maybe she's just a little harder. She's not from Markarth. The air about her screamed outsider. Visitors to the city usually stay at the Silverblood Inn. Mm -hmm. And who is Waylon? Where did he live? He was one of the smelter workers. I used to have a job down there myself, casting silver ingots. I never knew much about Waylon, except he lives in the Warrens, like all the other workers. Who are the Forsworn? They're remnants of the old rulers of Markarth, natives of the Reach, followers of the old ways. The Nords drove them out of the city, Ulfric Stormcloak and his men. That was about 20 years ago. But somehow they're still here, and they're killing people. Mm. Uh oh. Yes, it all started when I was a boy. My father owned one of the mines, rare for anyone who isn't a Nord. He was killed. Guards said it was just a madman, but everyone knew the murderer was a member of the Force War. I've been trying to find out why ever since. I've gotten nowhere so far. And then I got buried. I have a child of my own on the way. Oh. I swore I was going to just give up for my child's sake, but it's like my father's ghost is haunting me, asking me why. That was deep. Let me know as soon as you found anything. Did he just switch pillars? <laughs> Once you found out anything, come straight to me. Nice. Bless. Okay, so he just wants us to find information. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna do the Dark Brotherhood quest because that's what I was planning to do. That was disorienting, looking at that. Whoa. Um. These guys are in Windhelm. We'll do the optional one first, I guess. Should we be killing this person? I feel like this one is just like out of spite. Like this one's not. Ooh, there's a Lane Dufon over there. Do you guys usually kill both of them? I mean, she said she'd give us more money. Yeah, do, what do you think? You personally don't kill her? I just feel like we don't have to. I kind of want to go talk to her, though. I'm going to go see what's up. I'm going to go see. I just want to, like, speak with her, but I don't think I want to kill her. Oh, beautiful. <gasps> what time is it? Oh, it's sunrise time. <gasps> oh, the icicles. Oh, pretty. Name's News. I'm the cook up at Candlehawk Hall. He's a cook? Oh, here she is. What? Did you need something? If you need anything, come see me. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. Okay. Uh, I want to I wanna see you. Miri sent me. She's is quite unhappy. Maybe, like, we convince her to, like, be nice to her or something. Miri? I can't believe my family trusted that backstabbing little strumpet. Oh. You tell her she's dead to us. You hear me? Dead. Oh. I have nothing to say to you. Just leave me alone. I think we have an auto save. So we could just. Right? Like this. This just happened. I want to see what the other options do if that completely yes, cancels it out. Adara made the rings herself. She's learning. Yeah, okay. Found the metal well. I don't know where Windhelm is off the top of my head. Oh, 
<laughs> With ya. Okay, um, I'll just... Name's new. I'm the cook. Save here. What? Did you need something? So I should try this one? Do you hear that? It's the sound of your sister screaming in the void. What kind of cruel, horrible person are you? My sister was murdered. Do you have any idea what that's like? What I'm going through? I have nothing to say to you. Just leave me alone. Alright, well, I'm just gonna reload and see what the other one does out of pure curiosity. She sounds like Jennifer Coolidge when she's like, oh. Wow. Julia Bucky Theresa. What? Did you need something? Oh my oh, gosh. This guy's got red eyes. 30 months. How many in Montana? Well, 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 yes, is that? <laughs> Beef. Happy 30. That's a lot of Hannah Montana. Ooh, oh, 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 for sure. At least one, for sure. I'm gonna remain silent. You're just going to stand there gawking? Go away. You're starting to frighten me. Did she say anything else? I have nothing to say to you. Just leave me alone. Okay, so you literally can't convince her or do anything. Hmm. Where are her parents at? Does anyone know? They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Where would her parents be? Tova and Torbjorn Shatter Shields? They were walking with her? Oh shit. They're probably still there then, yeah. Oh. I mean, surely they're in there, right? Who are you? There's no glory in war. It's just something they tell soldiers so they'll rip. Molten core. Just don't for what in the world of Warcraft? Take a seat and get the cold out. Torsten. If it's a mercenary you're looking for, you found him. There's no stronger sword on for hire. Can't just throw the big logs on the fire. Gotta have the little bits too. So Tova and Torbjorn? Every idiot traveler that wanders through. I'd be out there fighting Elda? the Imperials right now if it wasn't for my war. Think about how ridiculous. Are they just upstairs? Calm down. I still can't believe Isabella's gone. She was such a helpful young lass. <sighs> Are they in here? Every night. Did she leave anyway? The and let them grayskins know what I think of them. Maybe they left anyway. Oh, wait, hold. Yeah, she's out and about now. Who are you? You need anything? Come Who see. Who are you? Me. I'm as resourceful as I am discreet. Need something? No, I don't. Everything all right? Who's this? Working in Wentham is great. I get to see Ulfric up close. Oh, wait, no, that's the person we want to kill. I have nothing to say to you. Just. Leave me alone. Are they just going to be walking around? Should we reload when they were right next to her or? Hold it there. Keep your distance. Huh? What happened? Another girl killed. This is Susanna from Candlehearth Hall. Oh. Served me a drink just a few nights ago, but I can't say I knew her. Is that so? Another? This has happened before? Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl, killed at night, body torn up. Ooh. Are there murders being investigated? It sounds like the guards aren't doing their job. Ooh! We are stretched thin as it is with the war. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. 
Uh, could you use some help? If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. The rats! Always sad when someone has to die. <gasps> Another one. Terrible. Oh. parents glad orthus was able to find someone competent to help out this is a cool little town farm work is hard work it's good to relax when i can but i still have doesn't trust farm work is hard work they're at home cramped alleys run down buildings few guard patrols even the name Gray Quarter is an insult. Do we know where their house is? Is it around here? Oh, I can just look at the local map. That's right. Um, which, what is the name of the house we want to look at? Shatter Shield? Is it one of the locked doors? Oh, what am I silly? Further up. Oh. Um. I'm afraid I can't see it. You need to go to the west side and then north. Does, oh, does this map only when we've gone to it? Oh, oh yeah, like the caves. The caves do the same thing. Okay, hold on. Which way are we going? Everything all right? Everything is great. Totally fine. I think this song in particular has been flagging on my YouTube videos of Skyrim saying that it's copyright. <laughs> But it just, it does the whole revenue share thing. And it says it's a cover. And I'm like, what? It's like, it's not, I, I can't just crop out every time this song plays. I could, but what if something's happening? So is it up this way? Julia, have good sleeps. Uh oh. I passed it. Oh, there's blood right here. Uh-oh. Oh, this is it. Okay. I thought I was just going to say Shatter Shield, but it said stuff before it. people maybe they're upstairs poor Nilsine has been wrecked since her sister was killed jeez I'd appreciate it if you don't bother my wife Tova she's still in mourning oh I'm planning to so your wife is in mourning can you train me uh, to better use two-handed weapons our little girl died recently I've been sure you feel better soon? strong need but nothing gives my Tova peace 
I've been looking for an amulet of RK to remind my wife that our child is with the gods now, but I can't find one. Thank you. Okay. Please forgive my mood. I'm still coming to terms with my daughter's death. Jeez, that was dark. <gasps> I've been a bit out of sorts since since our daughter was taken from us. Oh my god, her eyes. Or she looks so sad. Not really sure what to do with myself anymore. I just miss her so much. I try not to think of her, but sometimes the simplest thing will remind me. Oh. No mother should have to bury her daughter. Oh. Need something? <laughs> oh god. Yes? Uh, what do you want, cat? Yeah? Uh, huh? I... Yeah? Need something? Uh. Classic. Pain, pain, pain. Need something? What do you want? She knows her name. I know, isn't that wild? So... Pee pee poo poo monster too. Hi. Hello. I'm suffering under the unbearable weight of grief and loss. Anyway, need something? What can I do for you? South of here and west of the road lies Kronvanger Cave. Stay away from that. Mm. And the vampire. Um, now we have lore for choices. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're just sad. I, I don't think she deserves to die because this other person... I mean, the person who's asking us to kill is being a little bit selfish. Like, we don't need to kill them. However, they're like, really shitty person who used them. That's a little bit slightly more justified. Even though I feel like death shouldn't be the answer here. But obviously, it's Skyrim, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3 storylines? Oh, I bet. Okay. Um, the other one is just over here. We'll travel here and maybe walk up to it. Yeah, exactly, Lulu. It's a, it's a selfish want, for sure. I don't feel like we need to kill the other daughter, to be completely honest. Like, those poor parents. Um. Let's see. There, This has just got to be a cave, and we are totally on the wrong spot. Maybe we should... Hmm. Yeah, because we're kind of cozied up right here. Oh no, I hear a dragon, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh, Buscetios. Try to go around peacefully. That's a dragon sound, right? Oh. Do y'all have a favorite shout? Um. I feel like the fire one so far is kind of cool. Isn't there a shout that makes an enemy drop their weapon? That seems kind of cool. Oh, there it is. That's the dragon. What? 
What was that sound? What's that dragon doing? Oops. Is that Alduin? I don't know. I don't really know what Alduin looks like. Can you stay here, horse? Excuse me, are you Alduin? I'm gonna do a quick save real quick. Oh, he's talking, he's chatting. Fintereth? So did he wake up another dragon or something? Squatting. Lydia, please. Wow. This guy sucks. He's sucking his soul, baby. So that was Alduin, like, summoning the dragon, then? Oops. Yup. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of sweet. That's so cool. He was waking up a brother. Leave my horse alone! Oh, brother. Oh, God. Oh, mother. Oh, let's go, horse. Oh my god, the horse took care of business on its own. Yup. Horse is a gamer. I sure, I was like, oh, they're gonna kill my horse. Oh god. Okay, let's see here. We should just be able to turn up here to the right and then... Fingers crossed. Yeah, Pona who? Right?
Your horse will fight dragons. It can handle a little wolf. Okay, good. Uh-oh. Uppies. Oh. I'm a little nervous about where we are. I'm gonna do a quick save. Pixel, you didn't see that. You extend a personal invitation <laughs> to drag out your brushes and paints and you can along with us each show. Thank you. Uh. Uh. It was a oh! Oh, no. is a bad advertisement of this game. Uh, <laughs> welcome in, Raiders. Oh, my game crashed. <laughs> Oops. We're playing Skyrim for my first time. Welcome in. It's a really fun game. <laughs> oh, God. Pixel, how was your stream play? I'm sorry. That was a bad time for you to come in. Hello. <laughs> Uh... Put me on the ground! Down! Down, down! I think we have to choose a different quick save. Like I'm just kind of hoping we can just land somewhere and then and then park. Okay. Okay, see? Everything's okay. It's fine, it's fine. I will simply fast travel. And my horse will come with us. I cannot fast travel while jumping or falling. Um, we are gonna go to a different spot. This is fine. No, I think we're genuinely fine. This is fine. We're gonna go... Um... Um... Wow. Julia, look at the reason. Here. 
She scaled my room to lie. See, and look, our horse follows because it's uh You know. Everything's fine. Okay, we um We now go back. Okay, we did a new save. Okay, we're good. I don't feel like hard saving super matters. Wow, that's rumbling. Is that a dragon? That sounds like a dragon. Dude, I just fought a dragon. I can't like do a full 360 look while I'm on the horse. being dovid this game crashes too often to not save oh shit all right horse oh was he going to attack hold on i have a fancy new sword Wait, hold. Where's my fancy new sword? Oh, I couldn't tell if that was Lydia or not. Is that a... Ooh! Oops. Guess we're fighting another dragon. Thanks, Lydia. A dragon's back. Oh my lord. Okay. An ice dragon, that's pretty sick, not gonna lie. I do not hurt my horse. He's been through so much. Nice. Uh... Oh. Oh. We did it. Thank you for your soul. Oh my god, we're cucumbered with the dragon scales. I know, Bibble's right. It's shaking. Where's Lydia? I have a cucumber for you. I am cucumbered, Lydia. Please take this. I don't know if she's going to be able to really, like... Oh God. Lead on. It's fine. After this quest, we'll go deal with our inventory. I'd spread my cheeks for a dragon soul, Lulu. What? I'm sorry. Um, does anybody know for this quest if I need to go into this cave? I feel like it would show me if I needed to go through that. I assume not. But we do need to get up here. I'm going by foot. 
What was your question? When was the last time you emptied Lydia? Wow, we. Oh, I need this bear pelt. Did I miss that arrow? Maybe we need to go up here. Oh, it looks like there's actually like a legitimate place up there. How sick is the glass weaponry? It's pretty cool. Oh, this looks important. I see stairs. She's clogged up. The reason why she's so full up is because she's carrying a hammer that weighs a hundred. When was the last time you emptied Lily? It just made me laugh so hard. Uh oh. Close enough. See ya never. I feel like we should change our uh, arrows to be all nice. I'll go with, uh, let me see if the, the Nord arrows take them out. And if they don't, oh shit. Okay, these just take them out in one shot, so I don't need to use them. The fancy ones. I gotta pee. 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 Oh, I gotta pee. I'm gonna get in here first, though. Great. This guy's got beefy armor. Is what you want. Bang. Can I get my arrows that I missed? I'll ever kill that dude following Majol around because he's a third wheel. I don't know if I have met that guy, so no. Lydia literally just walked through fire. I, I'm assuming we can just go around as well. This must have been a shortcut. Are you guys okay? It's Monday. We're on the Dark Brotherhood quest where we have to kill... Um, What's his asshole face? Oops. Did y'all see Lydia's move right there? Goodness. I know the breathing of, uh, 
her when she's focused is, you know, you know. I wonder if we could lie to Miri and say we killed the sister, but just lie. Yeah, because like, how's she gonna actually know we did it? But I don't think it's programmed that way. I think, um, <gasps> expert. Yup. I feel like we are going to actually backwards here. I do have the spell. I actually have it on a favorite. It's a eight. I feel like maybe we should have better arrows here. What was that? Someone there? A little bit of an owl. What do you mean? Where the fuck is he going? Do I get to talk to him actually before we try to kill him? <sighs> Lydia, watch out. You're dead. Dead. You can't win this. Oh, he was light. I feel like we won't. Did you hear something? Oh. This guy's mobbing. Yeah, he's not moving, which makes me feel like he's got a dialogue. Oh, good God, I hit Barbus. Sorry, right, Barbus. Well, you must have all those annoying gods on your side to have made it this far, whoever you are. Even I have to admit that's pretty impressive. Miri says goodbye forever. Moiri? Moiri? <laughs> so what? You're the cow's champion? <laughs> Now that is rich. Well then, champion, let's get this over with. Yeah, he is a piece of Here shit. What? Okay, Mario. No, no more. Oh, Lamau one I shot. Did. That's the last. Here we go. He says. <gasps> oh, I could have just set him on fire. Okay, well, we don't need to go out that way. Yeah, it was a little bit underwhelming. Also, Lydia, you're fine. Why? I wonder if this door was just open to begin with. Maybe that's a better, like, waypoint to see down and kill all the other guys? I don't know. We've taken care of business. 
I know, all that big talk for one shot. That's actually kind of funny. He got cooked in 20 seconds. I know. Okay. So now we go back. I don't want to kill her. Oh yeah, you're here. <laughs> we politely shit it on him, yes. As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Thanks, Mel. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty Lots of strong drink and clean rooms. Yes. Unlike my husband, Clever, I watch after our guests. Oh, huh? like you said, venomous wife of mine. Oh my god. Nothing, you pig-headed oaf. Pig-headed oaf. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. Make no, I order. didn't play Jedi Survivor. I, I haven't. Well, I heard it's like a Star Wars Dark is, Souls, though, so... Is Elaine? Elaine Dufont now lies oh, dead. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. But last I heard, Nilsine is still alive. So I guess you decided not to kill her as well. I have to admit, I'm disappointed. Here's the payment for killing Elaine. And nothing for letting Nilsine live. Just remember, that was your decision. Not everybody needs to die, lady. Thank you again for resolving my problem. Why can't the men in this city leave me alone? What? What did I do this time? There's no shipments coming in, so I You were just standing there when you were supposed to- The voices. Um... Oh, that's the find evidence about things. Report back to Astrid. Oh yeah, Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. You didn't go back. You didn't do the Black Sacrament for oh, Nilsine though? Lulu, what is that? The Black Sacrament. Or a murder on your request and you got an attitude? I know. This door is so sick. <laughs> ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Uh, I did what had to be done, nothing more. I live only to serve. Sithis. Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. Okay. Uh, is something wrong? It's Cicero. Oh. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been, well, erratic. You mean erotic. Statement. <laughs> I do believe he is truly mad. But it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Is she talking about the weird behavior? Like, this Cicero is like this weird, jestery looking guy who likes to oil massage the dead goddess or whatever or i don't i don't really know who the mother or whatever is here but he's just a little weirdo he has to oil the night mother as long as oiling all he's doing is all he's doing you're being a bit paranoid you silent. must understand 
If Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. What do you want me to do? Dear sister, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. Oh, It'll God. be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No. You need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Oh, God. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. No, because he's going to open it and try to oil me. Because he thinks I'm going to be her or something. That's going to get weird. The coffin is perfect. Should I? I'm curious what happens when I say that seems so disrespectful. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Oh, God. <laughs> right then. No, man, this guy's a weirdo. Oh, God. Hide in the night, mother. Oh, God. Uh, he's gonna. <laughs> Anybody want a massage? About to get one. Good God. Why are you still standing there? Hurry before the meeting begins. Wait, where do we go for this? Oh, turn that shit off. I went the wrong way. Why are you still standing there? I'm going, I'm going. Before the meeting begins. Oh, God. Yup. Alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. He's gonna open the back door. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. Oh, I can't never. Move. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Oh, Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble. Oh, she chatting! But he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones, I give you this task. Journey to Wallenwood. Speak with Armand Mortier. You're talking to me. Poor I Cicero has failed you. 
Poor I'm in her thing. Sorry, sweet mother. I tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. The deep line. What? What treachery? Defiler, debaser, and defiler. Cut. You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin. Explain yourself. Speak, worm. <laughs> worm. <laughs> he just calls a worm. I. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said, "I'm the one." Oh, he's gonna be pissed. He was about ready to lube her up. And then we're in here. She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. Bro, that's me. And there is no listener. No, 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 no. It's me. She said to tell you darkness rises when silence dies. She, she said that. She said those words to you. Yeah. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. This Tammy High. It's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> oh, w voice actor. The listener. <laughs> oh, my Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Oh. Whatever you've been planning is over. Wait, no, it's fine. Right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. She's right there. Oh, I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Drama. Oh, no. She spoke only to her. To the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! Okay. The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. <laughs> I feared the worst. Are you alright? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Also, I don't think I can look over to him. He had a happy dance. Hold on. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Mm -hmm. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? No. It's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. Mm. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? Yeah, and also and he, the Night Mother, he oils who, it up. according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener just spoke right now yup to you yup this should option to read yup by sithis and what did she say uh i must speak to someone named amand motier in volenrud amand motier i have no idea who that is but volenrud that i have heard of and i know where it is uh, so I should go to Volnrude? I should talk to this man? Hmm. A man? No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. 
Do some work for him. Okay. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Yes, my lady. Oh, you are the listener. You are the listener. I have served Mother well. I have. <laughs> Y'all, is, is he giving Steve from Stranger Things, like, a little bit? Mother well, I have. <laughs> Bro, just poor emoted on you. <laughs> I, I see her a little. Oh, you are the listener. You are the listener. I have served Mother well, I have. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, Sammy, I think it was yesterday, but there was a line in this game that said oh, Lady Luck yesterday. You are the listener. And I lulled. I, well, I, I thought of you. <laughs> Right. Oh, you are the listener. You are the listener. I have served Mother well. I have. <laughs> what exactly does the listener do? Oh, the listener, well, listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must. For her word is the will of Sithis, mm. and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Okay. Oh, there's a lot here. Cicero, did you want to be the listener? Oh. Oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen. <laughs> tried so hard. But the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost maddening. You don't say. No, oh, but that was then. This is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason. I'm sure Cicero will remain the happy keeper. Well, at least he's not like admitting jealousy, really. He seems excited, which is good for him. Will the Night Mother speak to me again? Good question. Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg. Wait. <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> Ta oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now or later or... I don't know. But speak she will. Okay, Yoda. The Night Mother is part of you now. Oh. You get to hear voices inside your head. Oh. The rest of us should be so lucky. Great. Can't wait for that. Uh, what can you tell me about yourself? Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see, the Night Mother. I keep her clean and protected and... Happy? He's smashing her for sure. I'm not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> you are the listener. You heard the words. And everything will soon be put right. You Sounds dry. Nah, he's got oil. Oh, you sh oh. B, things are finally looking up. Can she talk to me again? Hello. Psst, psst. Make up. Put him in, put him in, make up. Oh, you are the listener. You are the listener. I have served mother well. I have. All right, we got to go. We got to go. I can't be Fortnite danced on again. She's EP. She has nice teeth. No, I'm not bringing up teeth again. Last time I did that, y'all called me a serial killer. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. Hello, Naz. How's it going? I like his voice. Need something? I do. Can we have a conversation? Uh, I need... Um, I'll do a second one. Astrid wanted me to see you about some more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. Oh. 
The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Vampire. Happy hunting. Okay. Wait, I want to hear, um, what are your thoughts about Cicero and the Night Mother? I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats. He doesn't like th lesbians. You just said it. Troubadours or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. Uh, oh. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the night mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. All right. Uh, let's learn about the two people we have to kill. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Okay. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Oh. Oh, I, I'm honored. He's a vampire, a vampire. And has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt. Also Hurt a and Hearn. The contract is for the male, Hearn. But you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. Okay. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. We have... Is this to get light armor 40? Oh, it's 41. Eh. Fuck it. It's pretty cheap. We leveled up. Good luck, and try not to get yourself yes. killed. I won't. <gasps> Sherry, happy twenty-six months. No, I'm, I'm like he's got good deals. Is that better? Level up. Um, I guess maybe more health. What were we wanting to get next? Was it a sneak one? We already done those. Hmm. I don't need that. Or was it an archery one? Hold. Nah. Oh. Wait, can I not? Can we not get this until we get this? Is that how that works? Oh. Able to move faster with the drawn bow. Actually, eh. What's this one? Oh, this. Oh, this is the one I want. Can draw bows 30% faster. I would like that. However, we are not there yet. Um, The sneaky dagger as well. Hmm. I mean, we could do this. Buying and selling prices are 20% better. Muffled movement and light foot are both awesome too. That's on stealth, right? Whee! Sneak. Noises from armor are reduced by 50%. The not triggering pressure plates is quite nice because I definitely have. But here's the thing. I've got Lydia with me and she doesn't think. She's an AI without a brain. The sneak perks go hard. Yeah, maybe we should do muffled mo movement. She just walks over them. I didn't mean to call her AI.
The one above Lightfoot? We would have had to get Lightfoot anyway, though, because don't you have to go in order? Spock. That and Silent Roll is so good, but fair point with Lydia. I don't use companions myself, so I forget to factor that in. That's fair. Well, I like how we'll be even more quiet now. That's fine. Okay, so now we got to go take care of a vampire and a bard. The worst bard in the world. Uh, maybe we should go kill, s or not kill, uh, sell some stuff really quick as well. We can go Cheeky Riverwood real quick. Silent roll changed the game for you. Why is there attacking? Is there a dragon? What was that? I don't know. Everyone inside now. Uh oh. I'm getting out of here. Oh, there is a dragon over there. Dragon. Where is he? What time is it? Well, I can fast travel while we're in here. That's kind of nice. Maybe the dragon will disappear. Sell stuff, kill stuff, all part of the Skyrim experience. Yep. Raffi! <gasps> Maybe we should leave and come back. Oh my god, he camped for the night. Oh! oh. This guy needs to park it. It's a blood dragon, too. Slay, slay, the, dragon. slay the dragon. He's just hanging out. I didn't want your soul so badly. I go inside right now. Hello. Are you gonna park it? Oh God. Yeah, get Barbus. Barbus, our tank. Wait, weird. We did it. I know, rip to the people of Riverwood. I don't think it killed anyone this round. Look out. Don't get too close. 
Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. I'm a hero. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, I'll be here uh, next week. Did we lose Alvor? I don't think so. I, I just th I feel like he wasn't in the place. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Oh, hello. It's a fine day with you around. Wait, are you guys talking about- is Al Alvar's not this guy, is it? Are you talking about the blacksmith? Oh yeah, Alvar died. Where's this guy, though? When we're cucumbered, we look like we got a poop, man. Is he here? Oh. <gasps> it's a fine day with you around. Where is your brother? Hello, friend. Thank you so much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is you and me. We're the only people around. He's alive. Who complete fools. Ah, goodness. Trinkets, odds and ends, that Oof. sort of thing. I know I'd rather sell things to her, but. You know. Oh, well. Trinkets, arms. This feels like this could be powerful. That if the target dies within 60 seconds, it fills a soul gem. But do I need to use that? I'm not going to do shield stuff, so I'll sell that. This is sick. I don't really want to get rid of it. Yeah, I got the children from uh, the Thieves Guild quest. That that was... It's a good sword. I like it so far. Yeah, I feel like a lot of this we're just gonna be putting at home. One thing right, everyone then. can agree on. This, this war, war is bad, bad for business. business. I know he's trying to regulate his body bar, bar, temp, Barbie temp. Um. There might be things in my pocket that I. That he wasn't taking? Let me go here really quick. His Barbie. Mm. Indeed. Indeed. Mystery yesterday, but how are we liking the Nightingale bow? <gasps> I love it. And I, I, I love it almost as much as I love the armor. The armor is so cool. I saw uh, Carlia get into it, and I was just like, I'm so jealous of that. And then we had to loot it right after, and I was like, oh. Ah, hello, my. Take a look. It's so cool. And then she gives us her bow at the end. It was, it was, it was really nice. Okay. I think we just have a lot of uh dragon stuff. Thank you very much for your business. I think we're good. I think I'll just go home and put that in the thing. Yeah, the Thief's Guild questline was fun. I also think so. 
And now we're doing the Dark Brotherhood stuff, which is fun. We have to go kill a vampire and a bard after this. I'm trying to empty my pockets because we're kind of heavy. Mama! I know, I'm just waiting for it. Anticipating it. It didn't happen. I feel like we should just be selling the cores. We have so much we could sell. Oh, nobody was taking that from us. 12 dragon scales. They're 10 each. Oof. Oh. Oh, I never turned those in. Oopsie. Flawless amethyst. We need three of them. My bad, my bad, my bad. I feel like I should keep a couple of the soul gems, though. Wow. Julia Buck, it's a resub. Hello, my pookie ookie gooby bears. <laughs> Hi, Mel. <laughs> my pookie ookie goopy bears. It's the goopy for me. Goopy? No, ain't no way you just called us Goopy. Thank you for the three months. Hello. Ramble the UCs. Wait, the scrolls aren't things we learn, right? This is just... It's a one-use spell. I might just stick this in my chest and never use it at all in my playthrough, but that's okay. I took the wrong thing. Bum ba da 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 do 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 do. Thirty one of these. Hmm. Hmm. I'm putting the chef's hat away. Oh, we stole these clothes. <gasps> oh, that's why we couldn't sell them. We gotta go somewhere where we can sell the stolen stuff. Hmm. You can go to a fence. What is that? What do you? What does that mean? Fence? What does fence them all mean? I probably know what that means, but I I don't I don't recognize the name fence. Oh, the pro okay. That's what I was thinking. Because that's what I was thinking when I said that. I was thinking of going to the place where they're like, oh, well, I'll take stolen stuff from you, like the thieves guild people. Oh <gasps> wait, Lydia has a shit ton of dragon bones. I just remembered. Uh, boar tusk. I know. I, I want to know what Fex is up Let to. Let me know if you have anything. To... Of course, ma'am. Ma'am? Thank you, my lady. Is there anything else you need? Nope. That's everything, Lydia. Thank you. Oops. I need to go. I need to go turn these amethysts in. I keep doing that. Um. 
I'm gonna be smart here and remember where this guy is, Talon J. I feel like he was outside. I think he's. I think he's outside of Winterhold. I could be super wrong here, but I just want to know. Oh, I'm super wrong. Is it not a side quest? Or like a miscellaneous quest, I mean? Oh, brother, where is the... Anybody know where he is? He's in Riften? Oh. I was thinking of the cat that was like outside one of the cities. Where is he in Riften? Or is he just outside of it? Thank you, McBeanie. Have a good sleep. It has to be a miscellaneous quest. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But... Oh, return to Talon J. Where is he? Um, take that one off. Okay. Hey, watch it. Shh. It's fine. You'll be okay. I'm getting out of here. Stop. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. You have some. I. I. I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we both thank you. Oh yeah, he's with the lady at the bar. May the earth beneath your feet be always soft. Someone, Someone do something! Blood. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry, I got it covered. Um, okay, should we save the vampire for last? That sounds fun. Morthal. Double jug man. Double jug. All right, um. Okay. I'm just gonna walk into his house and kill him? Fine, if someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Sing me a song, Bard, a song of fear and death. Someone hired the Dark Brotherhood to kill you, Lur Lurbuck. Should I say sing me a song? I'm curious what he says to this. I wonder if he'll do both. Ha! Oh, that's a good one, friend. Killing Lorebook. 
I mean, can you imagine something so ludicrous? Depriving the world of my unique talents? Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to make sense. You ask me, we'd be better off without that wizard in town. This isn't the time or place for magic, or whatever it is Falion does. <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing! <laughs> what about you, friend? Can't I, I join me? I the guards could always use some Shut help, the fuck so up. I keep my eyes open. <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing! So, how do we kill him? We have to do it without it being obvious, right? Do we have to wait? How do you get a sword? What time is it? Barbus, Lydia, y'all like it? You like the song? To kill him and then have a big bounty. It's illegal to kill a man who's in the mood to sing. That's true. <laughs> I'm in the mood to sing. <laughs> what about you, friend? Care to join me? Wait, there's nobody around actually right now. We could do it right this second. I'm gonna quick save just in case it goes not well. Oh, I lied. Keep your nose Ooh, clean, uh, pretty. Are you guys ready to go kill? <laughs> I was fucking aggressive. We got no bounty because nobody was around and we were also sneaking. So I think that's why. Although the guard has no clue what just happened in there. He just wanted to sing. I know he did get to sing though. Did he get to sing? He got to drum and, and also play his little flute. Do you guys ever just make clucking sounds? You just walk around your house as a grown ass adult just making sounds. Sometimes I cluck to the beat of songs. And it's really fun, except you can't cluck if you're smiling. No, do you? I do. It's fun. Just go. Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> it's fun to do. Yes, I'm autistic. I'm not, but I still do. But that's valid. Get into voice acting? I have voice acted. I'm in a game, actually. <clears throat> Talking to myself happens more often. Mm. I feel like I sing to myself more often than I ever talk to myself. <laughs> I might be the girl in Shesco. I'm not the same, though. Um... Oh, maybe go Dark Brotherhood and walk this way. You're gonna get that hot vampire and I'm gonna quietly sob. Here we go. Uh-oh, she's hot. Or he's hot. Are they both hot? Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. Is it this way? Nope. 180. Perhaps they even? Uh oh. Oh boy. Mm. 
Is there another dragon? I swear to G. <clears throat> Not the bedtime ban on Spark. Is that another dragon? Oh! Oh. Another dragon? Dude, I feel like I'm always killing dragons in this game. You threw off my groove. Wait, who's he attacking? Oh, eh. He's not an aggro to us, so I think I might just leave him. I don't have any motherfucking dragons on this motherfucking rim. Is that snakes on a plane reference? Mother effing snakes on this mother effing plane? I've never seen that movie, but I know that line. Half Moon Hill discovered. <gasps> this is a vampire? Well now, what have we here? A last little lamb. Hold on, let me get a closer look. <gasps> oh. Well now, what have we here? A last little lamb. Oh, those <clears throat> arms. Night spawn. Remain silent. Hmm. Don't say much, but there's a strange aura about you. You walk in the shadow of death. Boris. Leave here. Leave here and never return. <laughs> Boris. You really don't want to be loitering here, stranger. Oh, <gasps> look at his teeth. You really don't want to be loitering. Huh? You really don't want to be loitering here, stranger. Where's his wife? Does he have a key? I know we have to kill him. Where's the where's his wife? Wow. Julia bought me the freezer. Venison? Beef? I thought they were vampires. Hi, Julia. Happy 18. I could have had two babies since I first subscribed. This is true, you could have had two babies. I was warned of a hot wife. Hold on. I'm gonna time travel. Maybe the vampires do their vampiring at night. You're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, buddy? Where's your wife? You really don't want to be loitering here, stranger. I've exploded your wait with this quest, Proxy? Welcome in. I feel bad killing him. He's um You really don't want to be loitering here, stranger. 
Oh, the game in general? All right, I'm gonna use my fancy sword on him. Help me. Please don't kill me. I'll let you live. This time. You really don't want to be loitering here. He doesn't attack us? Hey! Where's his wife? Wait, what are we seeing, Lulu? Hearn and I do so adore guests. These guards are such a bore. A guest? Oh my. Oh. Uh, don't, um, don't go in there. We have guests as often as we can, but there aren't a lot of travelers these days. The war keeps people off the roads. We supply Falkreath to the south. Until recently, we supplied Helgen. Falkreath trades with the surrounding holds, and without our wood, they would have trouble keeping their prices low. Well, we needed to kill him for the quest line, right? Until next time. Oh. She's fucking cooking dinner. Why don't you stay a while? Um, careful with that. Hearn and I do so adore guests. These guards are such a bore. It's a little twisted. It, I, it, what, it, does she not have any dialogue with him? <laughs> careful with that. I'm holding her fucking husband. <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> I suppose we go back. <laughs> Careful with that. <laughs> oh. That's silly. Uh, Zensu, we have, if you do exclamation point S mods, we have a few visual mods, um, and then also one where the crabs swear, but that's it. We need to talk. Oh, God, not that. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. Mm. So go. Go to Valenrood. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Guess we're going to the guy that the Night Mother wants us to go see. Sister, watch yourself out there. Sister? Okay, well, that wasn't who we were supposed to turn those into anyway. She just prompted us with something else. Oh, because she wanted some time to think about it. That's what it was. Hello, I did the thing. I killed the vampires. Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? I literally already did my job, buddy. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of. 
Else she'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Wait, is that the wife? That he just mentioned? It is my first time playing Skyrim. Mm -hmm. A vampire cat would be sweet. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. He just wanted him dead because he was singing? Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Oh. So many contracts, so little time. Need something? So many contract. You may be the listener, or you may just be a lunatic who's started hearing voices. Either way, Astrid is still your mistress, not the Night Mother. Mm. Happy hunting. Need something? Need something. Oh, this guy's nice looking. Hello, Tidbit. Are we using pet names now? Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snack. <laughs> right then. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's married, man. <laughs> Cooter. What are we doing? <laughs> My mind is distracted. Oh, yes. Because I'm bored. <laughs> oh, yeah, Sonari on a Grande song, right? Wait, or is it? Yeah. Or should I say, yeah. Yeah. Um. It doesn't. <clears throat> I guess we just start from here. Je ne sais pas. Thanks, Tristan. I, I tried my best. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. How do we want to do this? Um... Oh, these are baddies. Oh, this is where we turn. Okay, I mean, we should just follow this path and then I think we're up there. Alex spelled Ariana's name wrong. That's okay. Oh, that's misleading. <clears throat> oh, you think I should like just shoot at him? Maybe I should, yeah, because that's gonna be easy. That's actually a good idea. Oh my god, y'all imagine. Katniss Everdeen who?
Brother! Oh, that's Lydia! Oh, girly pop! I'm so sorry! I thought that was a bandit. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Whoopsie! 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 <clears throat> <laughs> you better run at those. <clears throat> oh, Barbus is in here, I think. I guess my job here is done. Wait, that's a nice sword, actually. I know Lydia is just carrying me. In the H. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, okay. I guess we go up again. Where's our horse? Oh, we like okay, we gotta we gotta climb a little bit more before we can find our horse. I stay telling Lydia to wait like you do that often. <clears throat> I feel like I don't tell her to wait. Oh, shit. The horse is right here. Oh, hello. Hello there. What are we even doing? Okay, if you're confused, we are going to kill someone. We need to... I'm sorry. Not yet. We're going to go speak with Almond... Ar Almond... Um, Almond. Uh-oh. Almond. <laughs> Almond mom. Mother Almond. I'm not plotting on- I don't, I don't think we have to kill him. He seems pretty important. Are we still going the right way? <sighs> yup. At least I feel like this is... Sure, this path makes no sense. But I mean, I guess we don't really need to stay on a path. This seems pretty easy to navigate through. Oh, 
Oh. It's very orange. Very orange. Oh! Oh, bear. Oh! Oh my god! Come on. Okay, we need to kill two more bears. Where's my horse? Hello? Horsey? I hear it. I do not see it. What are you doing in the tree? Man was hiding. Bro ran. <laughs> he's scared he's in the tree. Imagine he runs. Woo, is that where we're going? Surely not. Wait a second, hold on. I'm, we're not doing this right either. Oh. Oh shit, that's where we needed to go, I think. Ran right past it. Yep, this is where we had to go. Okay. Oh, thanks. Surely everything is safe in here and nothing will try to harm us, right? Skeleton come alive? <laughs> Good boy, Barbus. What the? I didn't mean to run into the bones. Oh, he's in here. worth 2500 crow great sword sheesh and that's worth 650 by the almighty divines you've come you've actually <laughs> come this dreadful black sacrament thing it worked <clears throat> the night mother heard you you're please yes um so it would seem well i won't waste your time I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. Mm. I dare say, the work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. Go on. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end. For they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt. For I seek the assassination of... The Emperor. The Emperor. Leaders rise and fall, business is business. You want us to kill the Emperor of Tamriel? That is correct. What I ask is no small <clears throat> thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. 
This is what you do, no? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your superior. Rexus? The items. Did he just clap? I didn't see his hands move. What, what was he clapping? Here. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. What did he just give me? Alright, well, let's read this. Uh, to the most esteemed overseer, as was already communicated to your subordinate, I wish to hire your organization for some delicate ambassadorial work. All of this, of course, would culminate in a historic meeting with the leader himself. In order to secure an audience with the leader, some secondary meetings must first take place. They have been outlined below. Number one, y'all take notes here. You must attend. <gasps> We're going to a wedding. You must attend the upcoming wedding at the Temple of the Divines in Solitude. The bride must be given a gift she will never forget. One that will get all of Solitude to talking and which will undoubtedly reach the ears of the leader himself. <sighs> Number two, a certain high ranking military officer permanently stationed in Skyrim is responsible for securing the leader's safety should he choose to schedule a visit. When this officer learns of the leader's journey, he will begin the necessary necessary security arrangements. You must learn this officer's plans and meet with his people to ensure appropriate security for your eventual audience with the leader. Number three. Several months ago, the leader planned a visit to Skyrim that was canceled unexpectedly. In that time, a world-renowned chef was contacted and brought to Skyrim in order to prepare a lavish meal. The chef remained in Skyrim on retainer. You must meet with him and convince him that it would be your honor to cook for the leader in his place. I realize the instructions are a bit non-specific and do apologize, but I feel the vagueness is necessary to ensure security. Surely an organization as esteemed as your own has the means and resources to obtain all of the essential information before each meeting can take place. When the final part of our arrangement has been carried out, that is, when you have secured an audience with the leader himself, and brought such business to a close, I will contact you about final payment. Most sincerely, a friend. Bro, we're going to a wedding. Is there something else you need? Who are you, Montier? Who are you really? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Is this no longer so? Why do this? Why have an emperor assassinated? In the year 3 E41, Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City, cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. Okay. Will require significant compensation. Can you pay the price? <laughs> oh, my furtive friend. When Emperor Titus Mead II lies dead, there will be gold. A fortune in gold. But so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline. That you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, Oh, how the masses will fear and respect you. Can you trust your servant to keep this a secret? Oh, Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. All right. You must deliver those items to your superior. And I, I must get out of this foul place. Oh my god. I have vowed to serve Armand Mottier until my dying breath. Best remember that. Mm. 
Means a puppet. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, what <coughs> is going on here? This is the thing where they're trying to sum. Like that was what the thing that the kid was doing. Who are you summoning in here? Major smithing enchantment. Did you loot that? Which uh -huh. one? Not this one. Which one? Oh, he's summoning me. Oh, because that's supposed to summon people. That's how the Dark Brotherhood quest started. That's right. Oh, the gloves in his chest. Oh. Okay, hold on. Oh, weapons and armor can be improved 17% better. I don't think I have that, no. Are you guys ready to go to a wedding? What else is in here? Ooh. Oh, I can't go in there. I'm assuming this is just a side thing. We gotta get something nice for Lydia to wear. Oh. Thank you, Zen. I hope you have a good sleep. Thank you for being with us and hanging out. Oh. Have a lovely sleep. Okay. So. We need to uh, deliver the letter and amulet to Astrid. So we got to go back to uh, our good old fancy dark brotherhood place. Astrid. I asked. Astrid. You're back. Good. All right. So, did you meet this motier? What did he want? Uh, he wants to kill the emperor. You're joking. What's this? The letter explains it all. The amulet is for expenses. By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim. And that was 200 years ago. Oh, wow. Surely the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect us. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... So we'll accept the contract. <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? I don't think you would. But this is all so much to take in. That's a dream. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. 
and this amulet. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... We know him. History. He can be trusted. I know him. We literally just turned Quest into Delvin earlier. Sister. Brother. Wow. Uh -oh. Lydia. Whee. To the rat. Um, please. Sister, brother. Whoops. Need something? Need something. Hello. <clears throat> Hi, Maru. Good morning. Rat time. Oh, Delvin. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Something you need? Anything uh, for the guild. Oh, so now he's going to know we're part of the Dark Brotherhood. I don't think he knew before. Oh. Uh, oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over. Ain't ya? So, uh... Yes? How's Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, the business, of course. What kind of business? Oh, we turned in his quests yesterday when he was sleeping, and y'all were all thirsting over him because you said he looked good in the low light. <laughs> I remember. What can you tell me about this? Give Delvin the amulet. Oh. Give Delvin the amulet. Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. It's from a guy. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council. Specially crafted for each member. Worth a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... Believe what? Will you buy it? Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. Mm. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. Okay. Something troubling you? I'll listen. Okay. Use your skills, not your blade, and you'll do fine. Oh, he thinks I've got skills? I know she's already married. But his hus her husband called me a snack, so I mean... I don't know. Loud coming in. Three, two, one. I think I can just teleport out of there. I don't actually have to open it up. Back to the Dark Brotherhood again. Oh my god, give me a young Michael Caine any day of the week. I don't know what Michael Caine actually looked like when he was young. I only ever saw him in Batman. And he was a little bit older. Oh, um, 
Oh. <laughs> no comment. Yeah, you just whip your phones out, y'all. Do a little Michael Caine Young Google. <clears throat> Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? And especially made for members of the Elder Council. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? He was. Here's a letter of credit. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. But by Sithis, I hope I'm making the right choice here. Mm -hmm. You may be an effective killer, but your command of guile leaves much to be desired. The sealed letter you delivered to me was mysteriously unsealed upon its arrival. <gasps> I can only assume you've read its content. I haven't! Sloppy. I haven't! But moving on to business. As you probably already know from reading the letter... I didn't! You're going to a wedding. Oh. I thought she was talking about the thing that Del Delvin gave us. I thought she was talking about the thing that Delvin gave us. Not, not this, not this, not this, not this, not this. Of course, because it's something I need to do. You fucking goofball. What do you think I'm not supposed to read it? It's for me. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Julia won't get the reason. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her what is wedding. Pride, what is love? And they say romance is dead. <laughs> I get it because we're going to kill it. There's cake? Who's the target? Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go. And give my best to the bride. <clears throat> you guys ready to go to a wedding? Uh, can you provide any more details on the contract? This is a public kill. Yeah. How you do it is entirely up to you. Okay. Arrow to the throat? Yeah, probably. Knife in the belly? Nah. Your choice. So long as it's loud and messy. Because of the current political climate, people are going to assume the murder is related to the bad blood between the Legion and Stormcloaks. In any event, when Vici dies, it's going to be complete pandemonium. Best have your escape route planned out in advance. Noted. Loud and messy, I mean... An excellent Sign question. Me up. Vittoria Vici is the first cousin to our dear Emperor, Titus Mead II. Vici has obvious imperial connections. Her husband has ties to the Stormcloaks. Mm. Their union is a step toward reconciliation. So if there's a murder at the wedding, not only will it stall the peace process, it will send shockwaves throughout the entire empire. The Emperor's hand will be forced. He'll have to travel to Skyrim to deal with the aftermath. And he'll find the Dark Brotherhood waiting. <laughs> Why isn't the Emperor attending the wedding? That's actually... I'm curious about that, actually. He had a trip to Skyrim planned for months and cancelled at the last minute. Much to his cousin's dismay. Oh, yeah. Seems the Emperor realized his presence would necessitate a more direct role in the ongoing hostilities. A role he was obviously unwilling to take. All that will change with his cousin's murder. Everyone will think it was motivated by the conflict between the Imperial Legion and Stormcloaks. 
and the emperor will be forced to come clean up the mess. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the emperor some real motivation to visit Skyrim. Let's go to a wedding. <clears throat> nice, Tristan. I've never used a huge hammer like this before. Wow, that's a good one. Let's go to the wedding. Let's go to the wedding. Where am I? Brother, what? Why am I in a hole? I was stuck. Bound until death. What a title of a quest. Kill Vittoria Vicky. Vicky. I don't remember how to say the last name. I already forgot. <sighs> Time to go to solitude. Oh. A clip on? Dream, 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 dream. Oh, pretty. Oh, pretty. Close your eyes, shut your mouth, dream a dream, something, something. Are you, why are you running like that? As if Skyrim didn't have enough outsiders. Now we've got mercenaries from Hammerfell strutting about. He's gotta get to class, I guess so. Time for the wedding. God might get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. Is this music? Cyrodiil, and everyone took up arms against them. Wasn't that treason? Lady? Lord? Huh? Why, that's not the same what thing an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. My Such exactly. kindness oh, God. for me. Hail the Imperial Legion, the Stormcloaks say hello. Oh, no need to be shy. My day is your day. Please, eat, drink, make merry. We're all friends here. Please, enjoy yourself. Well, aren't you a pretty thing? Should my new bride be worried? <laughs> You're marrying that guy? What, we would? Disgusting. The best. Victorious good woman. Any man should be so lucky. I know my father is not happy about me marrying an Imperial, but that is his problem. Tell me about your parents. My father was a Stormcloak soldier in his younger days. Now he just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. My mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine and teaches his ways. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. Oh, we were just at the shrine of Talos. Are you at odds with them? Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family values. They're still my parents, and I love them dearly. I just think they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with this war. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. 
I think Ulfric cares this about person Ulfric, singing, oh my god. And the rest is a smoke screen. I'd appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. The last thing I want to do is have my parents lose another child. It's been good talking to you. A marriage of both love and political advantage. A rare thing indeed. Help! Someone's being attacked! Did it really just happen? I just want to shut her up. Oh! Oh, it saves with your fucking arrow. <laughs> ah! Oh, fuck. What a save. 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 Whoopsie. If you want my opinion, I think they should have paid for an entire quartet. Plenty of bards at the college would have loved the opportunity. Uh, having a good time? I, just I am, to thank you. Thank you I do so this. enjoy singing at weddings. Wait. It's just one of the many duties we at the Bard's College are called upon to perform. Husband. A marriage of both love and political advantage. Dread indeed. Whether it be war I still think my boys should have had a tradition oh, they're up there. wedding. Outside. My nephew, the Emperor. Too busy to attend the wedding of his beloved. May you all be as happy we in your life. Huh? Like I assure you. Thank you again for everything. <gasps> oh, well, L, 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 L. Oh, she's back. Well, we can just kill her here. We didn't miss the speech, though. Should we go back? I can. I, I'm down to rewatch the speech, or listen to it rather. We have to make sure we don't shoot her again. Hold on. A marriage of both love and political advantage. Thing indeed. Victoria My nephew, well. the I need everybody here to Is shut your mouth. Not a bad beloved cousin. We won't stand for this slight, I assure you. They're all talking at once. Good people of solitude. I just wanted to take this time to thank you all for being here. To thank you for sharing this wonderfully happy day with myself and my new husband. These days, it seems there is dread everywhere, whether it be war or dragon. But I beg you, here, today, put such fears aside. This wedding is boring. I wish they had jugglers. I'll make it less boring for you. Victoria, no! What was that? Please, someone do something. The bride has been murdered. Come on. Somebody help! <laughs> Watch it! I'll say the bastard orders me to keep an eye on you. Figured you could use a hand when the chaos erupts. Are we gonna get like bounties for this? Yield, and I may still show mercy. Meet back up at the sanctuary. I'll be fine. Go. Oh, he was on our side. We'll meet back up at the sanctuary. I'll be fine. Go. 
<gasps> My daughter's dead. No. What's going on? Why would somebody do that? <laughs> hmm. Soon, I can almost taste it. Out of you. <clears throat> oh, bride loot? Can I get up there? Also, is it too late since we left? It's too late, isn't it? Do we have to reload? I mean, we can just redo it. It, it takes like two seconds. You guys ready to kill the bride again? This one's just uh, this way's just a little. Oh, good lord above! Took her wedding ring. I'm gonna wear it. I'm engaged. I'm taking the wreath and the sandals. Oh shit. I'm taking her whole fit. Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Ah, what a beautiful day. I think the guards just don't care. And I may still show mercy. Oh, wow. Oh, is this the husband? Oh. Whoops. I didn't do that one. She wanted us to kill her during the speech. Oh shit. He, oh fuck. I was going to put them back together, but we have to. <laughs> we have to reload now. <sighs> All right. You know what they say? Fifth time's the charm. of both love and political advantage. Interesting indeed. Want to know my favorite way to kill her? Yeah, what, what, what way? Hi, Japan. People of solitude. Are you all enjoying yourselves? Please eat, drink, and make merry on this most happy of days. Today, the problems of Skyrim <laughs> are the not my problems. Nor are they yours. Today we are joined in peace and happiness. So please, enjoy yourselves. Victoria! No! Alright. Found you. I made it out. What was that? The bride has been murdered! So are we good? Astrid ordered me to keep an eye on you. Because things are here on the case. 
Yeah, you know, we gotta get up there. Oh, we could have come up. Oh, we could have come up here. Unite them together. <laughs> so much. <clears throat> That's fucked up. Oh, no, 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 this is so wrong. Not the guy telling me this is so wrong. That'll do. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is so wrong. My daughter said no. We'll meet back up at the sanctuary. I'll be fine. Go. Yeah, see, now they're together. They're, you know, it's so nice. I know. I wasn't going to just have his face in her butt. That would be a little bit too uh, not okay. What have I woken up to? I'm sorry. Go back to bed. Good morning, Cape. It's not what it looks like. I mean, it's exactly what it looks like, but it's not what it looks like. Her death was cheeky a little bit, yes. We were attending a wedding. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. I mean, it was just an arrow, but... Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. She bled like a stuck pig? Ew. Uh, the blushing bride now serves Sithis in the void. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. Oh? His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. A thousand gold? Summon a spectral assassin added. A spectral assassin? That sounds actually quite sick. She does give the mother witch from Tangled. Yeah, what's, what's her name? The shadow scales are all but forgotten. An ancient tradition from another time. Need something? I thought he was going to talk about the wedding, and then I think I ruined it, but okay. Oh, Gothel, Mother Gothel. Oh, she's sleeping. Psst, wake up. Hello? Dear sister, I have been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. Imagine waking up with just that much energy right right away uh what are the details with the emperor's arrival in skyrim now a certainty his security service the penitus oculatus will need to begin its preparations immediately Good security me. is being Same. handled by a commander morrow astrid and i have devised a plan to break that a commander up. what in doing so cripple the emperor's protection oh you are to slay the commander's <sighs> son gaius morrow and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Wait, what? I'm supposed to say that? Okay, what? 
Okay. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Moro's departure and follow him. Okay. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Okay. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of wow. the rest. Julia Bucket the oh, and one final thing. Yes. Stein! Happy three months! Hello. Yes. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. Oh. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Mm. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. Mm. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend. Okay. And a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. Oh. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Huh. Tell me about Dragonbridge. It's a small town with one rather unique feature. It houses Skyrim's only Penitus Oculatus outpost. It was established by Commander Morrow when he first arrived in Skyrim several months ago, when he began preparing for the Emperor's initial visit. Did you know Gaius Morrow's schedule? Or do you? No. So your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule somewhere in the Penitus Arculatus outpost. Securing that would obviously be most beneficial. Okay. What will killing Gaius Morrow accomplish? Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. Okay. No. We need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. Oh, and we can ask her on our thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother, oh baby. Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Right. Walk in right Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of Sippus. I guess they just share beds. Cola, have a good time at work. Thanks for hanging out. I don't know if I said hi. I don't think I did. But good luck at work. Have a nice work night. Day, rather. Jeez, you two have a good sleep. Okay. So... Is this guy gonna call me a snack again? What do you want, Beef Roast? <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> beef Roast! Need something? Sister. Hello, Tidbit. Un sister. C need something? Right then. Take care of yourself, Beef Roast. Uh, beef rose is fucking wild. What's <laughs> up, pork chop? <sighs> um, okay. What do we need to be doing? What's there anything? Oh yeah, we have to go talk to this guy. Uh, is this quest a little bit beefier, do we think? Or do we think this probably wouldn't take too long? Hey, California roll. <laughs> hey, chicken wing. What's up, tater tot? <laughs> But they're just calling people food. I feel like this one probably wouldn't be too bad. We could probably do this one and then sleeps. Thoughts? I'm sure that would be fine. Hey, Natra Supreme. 
Beef roast is the same as new meat, new blood, like new person in the team. I don't know, maybe. Sub pork loin. It's so funny. Okay, we gotta. Oh yeah, this is fine. Uh, we have not gone there yet. Let's go to the farm here. <laughs> Baconator. Hello, S cargo. Oh, baby. Um. Okay, so we just want to go Doesn't down. The emperor was murdered in solitude at her own damn wedding. Not a chance we have let that happen here. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, that's so strange that she was married. Trouble, I will stay out of trouble. Thank you. Hey, Ratatouille. Oh my god, Ratatouille's funny. I, I don't think of Ratatouille as a freaking dish now because of that effing movie. I think of Ratatouille, I just think Remy. I just think of the film. What did y'all think of the live action Avatar? I never saw it. Should have got our horse, but <gasps> speaking of horse, isn't this where he glitched? I think I remember this spot. This is where we found Barbus, I believe. If I'm remembering correctly. Baba. Okay, wait, so we just beeline. Wait, is this a town that we've not... We haven't been here? Hello? Where did the bear go? Oh, it's over here. I'm coming! Oh, great. Only one more bear cloak? Or bear, uh, bear pelt? Yeah, the bear- Oh, you think the bear- it was the dragon that scared it away? I guess it makes everything scatter. Dragon bridge discovered. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. I know you will. But all the same, remember everything I said. Oh, wow. Stay alert. Get to the cities, make your observations, and move on. I understand. You're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son, Look at those eyes. the Emperor's safety is concerned. Anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Charla, happy official one Farewell, year! Farewell, brother. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gaius. You're doing your duty, and I'm proud of you, but you better come back to me. You hear? Oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I carry you always in my heart. I'll see you soon. Oh, they're so in love. Oh no. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. 
We have nothing to say to one another. Where are these plans supposed to be? Oh. Can we, can we still follow him? One bounty added? A single bounty? All right. Can I help you? Nope. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. After I kill you, I'm going to kill the Emperor. Traveling alone can be so dangerous. Is that a threat? Back off, or by the eight, I'll cleave that arrogant head from its shoulders. Lane something. This is a cool bridge. It is a cool chest plate. You are trying my patience, citizen. Back away. Now. Letter from father. Uh-oh. Yeah, we gotta wait. That's right. We gotta wait until he gets to his city. That's what they said. Aren't we supposed to put a letter on his body? Right? Isn't that the thing? Uh, once he's dead, I must plant a letter on his body that will incriminate him in a plot to kill the emperor. Okay. Do we, we have that letter now, right? Do we? Am I silly? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, here it is. It's right here. I don't even know what this is yet. Uh, Von Wolf, I agree to your conditions. When the Emperor arrives, I will pass along his schedule and arrange for all doors to be unlocked and any posted security to be conveniently absent for a small period of time. Nothing will stand between your men and his eminence. He will die by Stormcloak hands, and neither my father nor your great leader, Ulfric, will even know anything was amiss until it is too late. Leave the first payment in gold at this dead drop. I look forward to continuing our relationship, Gaius. <gasps> it's a fake letter. I don't think they said anything about needing different armor. What a beautiful walk. I know, right? It's just titled incriminating letter. It's funny. I know Gaius is innocent and he's freaking got a lady back there. You can't see me. Nothing to see here. Hi, Barbus. Oh, Lulu, you're good. Strawberry toast? Wait, cat, explain yourself. What is that? What what does that entail? <gasps> Funny, speaking of tail. If this is your first time with us, let me extend a personal invitation for you to drag out your brushes Hello. and paints and paint along with us, I'm sure. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy it. Hi, Anthony. How was watching the watching? Rickshow? Oh, that just came out, didn't it? Wait, didn't you watch that with your family and now you're wa Did you rewatch it? Is that what happened? Or was there more? I'm not sure. Yes. Nice. Hi, Henry. Hello. Allo, Ray. Hello. Morgan, allo. No game. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. Hi, Dunk Nugget. We're following this guy, um, and then we're going to assassinate him. But it's a very lovely walk. We're playing Skyrim. Welcome in. You drove six hours back today? I didn't realize you drove back today. Streamed four and then watched it again with chat. Yeah, we're well, we're we're an assassinator. But look how cool we look though. Mm 
butter on toast in my conventional oven and then oh strawberry jam i for some reason thought you were like gonna chop up strawberries or something which would also be probably really good strawberries like fresh strawberries on butter and toast that sounds good too i do that with blueberry jam though i'll have bread and butter and then blueberry jam and it's really good Oh no! What happened? Where is the closest city here? Are we are we following him all the way to Rorix? Where? I mean, we got the thing that shows his plans, right? I'm just using the spells up. Schedule. So where should, should we fast travel somewhere? But when we when we travel, we the time skips anyway. Ooh, apple butter. Hi, hi, caffeine. Yeah, how should we be doing this? The days of the week are listed. Oh. steamed apple juice um i've had like i've had like hot apple cider before and like wassail which is oh, mostly apple juice yeah he's just eating and sleeping you are trying my patience citizen back away now Or what? Trying my patience, citizen. Back away. Now. So should I be traveling and then going to one of the places? I don't really know how to do this one. Homemade apple cider. That's something I've never done. You can fast travel to one of his later cities and wait until the day is listed. Okay. Um, <gasps> Ooh, Riften. Dragon's Reach would be pretty good, actually. That's easy. But also just Solitude's easy. So should we just... Should we should we fast travel to Solitude right now? You went to the first place on the list and he was there. Isn't Solitude, like, way over here? Oh, he's going the complete opposite way of solitude. Why, why is he doing that? Enemies are nearby. Who? <gasps> 
You guys check it out. Again. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So when does he arrive here? Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. Just so true. Where's he gonna be? What day is it? Uh, tur turd. The day is turd. Oh. Oh, he's in White Run. Yeah, the irony because he's having a shitty day. Should we go to White Run? Will it still be Turd Day? He sleeps at the inn in White Run, which makes it easy. Oh, now it's freaking Friday. Titties. See, that's the thing about fast traveling is now what? You know? Now what? You can just wait till the next Thursday? That's true. The end is just right here, isn't it? Come on in. Let me know if you need anything or come a on by the fire in. And I'll... So should we just do this and then just and just wait? <laughs> Waiting. Please. <laughs> Two o'clock. Whoa, party! Mm -hmm. What in the Ben Affleck are you? Dead, if not for Big Nor. He took me in and helped me turn my life around. We'll have to have a pint together sometime, you and me. I had a bad time a few years back, and I turned to drink. All right. I would be. I mean, I'd share, I'd share a pint with... You know, in a video game world, I, I would. Yeah. That's him? That's Mr. Skyrim Shuffle? But Vignar, he wouldn't let me stay weak. Yes. Oh, that's him? It's Sunday. He says he's the one who likes to L I C K. Can I play the Skyrim Shuffle video again? Mayhaps. It's Morn Day. <laughs> Morn this. 
Mourn this. Curtis. Need something? So this is the guy. This Ben Affleck looking ass guy. He's the guy. Oh, that is him. We'll have to have a pint together sometime, you and me. Wow. 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 Not that line right after the Skyrim shuffle, I know. <laughs> yeah, night guys. Where is he? Which, which day does it have to be? Turdus. Turd. One mo day. You needed a bed two hours ago, to be fair. Woof. Well, I hope you sleep well. Good night, Morgan. The Skyrim shuffle, Savannah? Need something. <laughs> not you again, man. I'd be dead if not for Big Gnar. So we need to wait until the night, right? Life. Oh, he'll be here in the afternoon. Let's do two. Chopping up some wood for the fires. <laughs> What's he coming in here? Be careful. Shiny trinkets for your I good don't lady. suppose you're going to buy something this time? Old craft by the great today. Aeorlan. If the gods be kind, someone will take mercy on me and spare a few septums. 
if they do, promise you'll actually purchase something for once. Where is he? We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm bed. What are you doing that for? Is he around? Where's our boy we gotta kill? Oh, did you need? It's Turtis. Where's he at? If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Is it to be six? <gasps> there he is! The security in White Run is terrible. Shameful is what it is. You are trying my patience, citizen. Back away. Now. What was it called? Oh, it started with a C. Oh, no, incriminating. Oh, I was thinking of the crimination. Crim criminal. Uh, incriminating letter. Whoopsie. Now, do we need a way for him to sleep? We can't just kill him right here, right? I'm assuming. Oh, and the bragger did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of both battles in gold he had made. So do you wait from the sleep? Shield maiden Matilda. So have you spoken to that man from the Bard's College? Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our meat. Now I think it's what high time now? that you lie down and bleed. You gotten around to it yet? And so then came oh, John, and slashing. You, you changed seats. You're trying my patience, citizen. Wait, now. You think a few miles can do it? Oh, let him leave here? A nice old rich husband, have 16 babies. You've uncovered my master plan. Now I suppose you'll never leave. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. You are trying my patience, citizen. Back away. Now. <gasps> oh, he's leaving. Oh, it's time. Oh, it's so over for him. So do we just have to kill him here? But nobody can see, right? Oh, we don't kill him? Oh. Well, I mean, I see kill Gaius, so I'm just kind of like... Why don't I thought we kill him? I must kill Gaius, and then once he's dead, I plant the letter on his body, which I planted the letter on his body before we killed him. I thought we kill him. Yeah, I. I, I stole the schedule already. That's where we knew where he was. But they, but I'm in order to get my bonus, I have to kill him in one of the cities he's at. Yeah, so I'm right, right? Wait, where's our boy? You are trying my patience, citizen. Back away now. 
Yeah, I implanted the letter before we killed him. I'll save though. Definitely, in case it goes wrong. In the shadows. Lost this tank. This should be good. Someone do something. <sighs> I didn't get a bounty for that, did I? No bounty? Oh, we gotta go. Oh, but now I can't see the father's letter. Oh, he's still here. Lydia. Did you know there are some fruits that actually grow better in the cold weather? Hello, friend. Nice. I don't think we have a bounty. I got a 1k bounty? Oh, I just got one from looting the bodies. Oops. So, what should, do I have to, should I do that now or can I just do that next time I'm here? Ken, I did too. I didn't look at the father letter. Maybe we should. Letter from father. My son. In order for the penit penitus oculatus uh, to ensure the safety of our honored emperor during his visit to Skyrim, we must personally verify the security of every city in the province. To this end, I appoint you my personal representative, granting all rights and privileges afforded um, commanding officer of the Penitus Oculatus. You are authorized to speak with my voice and administer with my hand. Gaius, I cannot do this alone. There is much work to be done here in Dragonbridge and elsewhere, and many arrangements still to be made before the Emperor's arrival. I simply cannot afford to spend time traveling right now, but you must know the seriousness of this task I set before you. When he arrives, the Emperor may choose to visit any city in Skyrim as suits his whim. If he does so, we have the Penitus Oculatus. Must be um, sure that security within those cities is sufficient to deal with any threat to his person that may arise. Gaius, my beloved son, you may be new to the Penitus Oculatus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Oculatus, but I need someone I can trust. You must carry out your duty for the safety of the Emperor, the glory of the Penitus Oculatus, and the honor of the Morrow family name. Your superior officer and loving father, Morrow. Take his armor? Wait, that's awful. Aw, <laughs> Spock, that's so sweet. Where his armor become him and speak to that dude with such spies? 
Whoa. A lot of white run guards were killing. Maybe I can simply run away. horse it's fine I'll pay the bounty it's fine <gasps> you cannot wait while the guards are pursuing you oh You can run, but when you come back, they'll ask for you to pay, but you're a Thane, so you might have a favor. Oh, okay. The guards are still pursuing us. I order of the arm. Stop right there. I'm the Jarl's Thane. I demand you to let me go at once. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. But even the Jarl's influence has its limit. Be more careful. I'll be more careful. I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. Thank you. <sighs> Very good. We are above the law. Oops. Sorry about your 10 guys we killed back there. I'm a thing. <laughs> Hope it wasn't personal. My bad. <clears throat> Just saying things, you know. Oh. Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Have you? Gaius Morrow is dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. Oh? It's Cicero. There's oh. been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Oh. Um. Just try to relax, Vizara. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah, uh, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. Uh oh, Gabriella mentioned something about Cicero. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, oh. tried to kill me, and then he fled. Oh. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he uh -oh. weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving about the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. Oh, we heard about that. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with... Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. What do you want me to do? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. Mm -hmm. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. Mm -hmm. After the attack... Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. 
Search Cicero's room. Maybe Cicero and Armborn are in there that shed some light maybe they, on where they might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. Maybe they are. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Mastered by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Astrid may well be dead if not for you. She's right. I'll be forever in your debt, dearest brother. Now be quiet. Just. Just rest. That twisted jester will pay for what he's done. Did something set him off? No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. She calls Cicero ridiculous. may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. Oh. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. Oh, well, there you go. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Okay. Is there any way to work this out? Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. <laughs> what does it matter? The child. In truth, I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. Hmm. All right. Damnable jester. All right. You good? I don't mean to pickpocket you. I'm sorry. It only hurts when I laugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, do not underestimate Cicero. A man like that... Small and foolish is easy to mock, to underestimate. Don't make the same mistake I did. Damn. Kill well and often. I believed in Cicero, but he's betrayed us all. Cicero destroyed any sympathy I may have had for him when he wounded Vizara. Kill the fool and be done with it. It is so weird to hear a child talk like an adult. Go. Do what has to be done. What about you? You got any feelings? Boy, did you miss all the excitement. I, I know, I was killing another guy. <sighs> all right, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe Cicero coming here wasn't the best thing that could have happened. But even I didn't anticipate this. Well, you know the old saying, when life gives you lemons, bam, ba -dum, ba -dum, go bam. murder a clown. Damn. Burn that little jester alive. I thought we could have keep Sister as a follower. Should have figured the little lunatic would completely snap. Any thoughts? Going after Cicero now would be a fool's errand. That little jester is currently being digested in Arnbjorn's stomach. Mark my words. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good luck. And try not to See, get I told you something good. was up with between with between the both of them. I told you. Okay, y'all, this is a beautiful time to stop. I believe. Um, and we'll just we'll pick this up tomorrow, I think. Yeah. I believe we'll pick this up tomorrow. Um and we'll do the Cicero part tomorrow. <laughs>